Welcome back to Your Real Estate Voice with Barb Schlinker. She's the host of the show, and this is the weekly radio show that informs and educates you on how to buy or sell real estate with Barb Schlinker, the owner of Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. Now, Barb, when home sellers are planning to put their homes on the market, how does a home seller handle a shifting market if it's the right time for them to sell? Well, Richard, most people don't sell homes very often and things change all the time. I even had one client tell me, hey, we've sold three homes in Colorado. Every one went in a different manner. So the laws are relatively similar, but the things that are changing would be how the agent handles the sale. That's one thing. Um, the marketing has been a huge shift because one of the things that we're seeing is that the quality of the imagery has gotten so good that buyers are deciding on their cell phone or on their tablets whether or not they're even going to drive by and take a look at the home. And the agent is the one that's in charge of marketing. Typical buyer actually eliminates homes in less than one minute. That's all you have to make an ins um, that's all you have to make an impression. Otherwise, they're just swiping to the next house. So you really have to make sure that you get that right. You get the pictures right, that the house looks as as good as it can, and don't use pictures that make the house look ugly. You don't have to have a picture of every nook and cranny of the house. The whole idea of photos is to attract somebody to come and see it, okay? Now, some basic pictures absolutely have to be there. The front, the curb appeals, really, really important. The backyard, the view, the living room, the kitchen, the master bathroom, and the master bedroom. Those photos are absolutely critical. And if you miss one, the buyers won't trust the home and they won't go see it. So it's really, really, really important to get that right. One of the services that we offer for free if we know somebody's planning to sell in the future and they don't know if it's gonna happen during the winter months or, or whatever, and we've got nice, beautiful yards right now, the yards are green and the flowers are blooming, no cost or obligation, we will get permission to come and take pictures of the outside of their home, the front yard, the backyard, while the yard is green. That way, if they do decide to sell, we've got the photos in their best light when they look the prettiest in the summertime. You know, most agents, Richard, spend less than $89 a month on marketing. In fact, some don't even buy business cards. You wouldn't believe how many times I get complaints from my sellers that an agent came into their home with a buyer and they didn't even leave a business card. How, how would you feel about that? That is so unprofessional. I mean, you for less than $100, you could go out and do this. And that's for everything they do in their business in one right. month. That could be a couple of houses. And these are houses, I assume, that are worth at least a couple hundred thousand dollars each. I would be embarrassed to be that person. It happens all the time. I'm just wondering if they quit buying cards. I don't know if, if the brokers quit um teaching just common showing courtesy, I, I just don't know. But I think it's it's really unfortunate and it's very frustrating because if I'm the listing agent, I've got to take the bullets of the complaints, you know, and the agents, of course, will never admit. I, I had one recently, there was a showing and the buy, the next buyer that was going to see it wouldn't go in because the front door was left wide open. Why did that happen? Wow. You know, just crazy stuff that happens all the time. So if you are thinking of selling your home, one of the things that's absolutely critical is that you hire the agent that knows how to A, help you prepare your home for sale, right? Not everything has to be moved. Not everything has to be cleared out. But the buyer has to see pictures that make them visualize themselves living there. So if it's full of clutter, we have to find a way to either erase or pack away the clutter in certain places. Typically, we don't take pictures of the inside of garages. We don't take pictures of the inside of closets. We don't take pictures of unfinished basements just because 
they don't photograph well. Now, I did look at a garage yesterday that was spectacular. <laughs> now, that one we will take pictures of because it was so pretty. We'll probably take pictures of it with the RV in it and with it out, you know, because that is a marketing thing. But most garages are not really an attraction point. And, and if you have less than a minute to make an impression with the buyer, those first six to 10 pictures have to be absolutely spectacular. And that's part of what we do. The next step is promotion. That means making sure those pictures are up, they're in the right order, and the rooms look really, really good. That includes professional photography, drone photography. I put one house on the market this week it's on a lovely cul-de-sac it has a beautiful backyard and we picked the best front picture followed by the best backyard picture and followed by the rest of the key rooms and guess what happened day one on the market the buyers are calling going oh my god oh my god can i get in early can i get in i want to see it if it's the one we're going to make an offer if it looks anything like the pictures i gotta see it right so that tells me we promoted it properly and we priced it properly because most home sellers have no idea who is eliminating their home based on the online presentation. But if you're not sure about it, then just have a family member look at your pictures and look at them critically and be brutally honest and ask them if you saw a picture of this home and you were looking for a home, would you come to see mine? And and tell them if tell them to tell you if you see a picture that it just doesn't make the home look more attract attractive. We know that a majority of the buyers won't go see a home if they don't like the pictures. Now that's completely different to real estate 15 or 20 years ago because back then the pictures were not good enough in order for a buyer to decide whether or not they should even go see it, right? The, the They were more pixelated, there weren't as many. Many of the homes just had one outside picture and that's it. Well, now it's become a screening thing for the buyer. If they don't like the pictures, they're not gonna come and go see it. And then marketing is absolutely critical, that you are the best home on the block. And that includes preparation, making sure you get ready to get those pictures ready to go. Staging. Now, staging doesn't always mean bringing in furniture. Sometimes we can do it electronically. Making sure you get your curb appeal right, though, absolutely is critical. Professional photography is critical. Virtual tours are important. Floor plans, talking house ads, drone, all that stuff is really, really critical because we don't want the buyers to pass the home by online. We want them to come and see it and make their best offer. That's our goal. Um, and really, there's a lot of real estate agents, I hate to say this, but they just don't know how to do it. We are experts at this. When we meet with a home seller, we take a look at their home. We show up prepared with all the information about the market for similar homes like theirs. We'll give them tips on what to do and what not to do to get their house ready for sale. We'll make recommendations and then we'll help them prepare for that very critical photo day. So according to the National Association of Realtors, buyers pay anywhere from three to 5% more money for a home that is staged. And so we include staging services. Here's a couple pictures of homes or rooms that I found in the listing service. These were marketed homes that weren't properly staged. So what I'm looking at is a whole bunch of lace doilies and ugly colorful blankets on the furniture, toys on the floor, too much furniture in the room, curtain pulled behind the window unit air conditioner. I mean, the whole thing is like unappealing, basically. Don't you think so, Richard? There was a time and a place for doilies and I'm sure they were really cool and your grandparents or great grandparents had them, but not so much now that not so much you know this was another marketing photo where the dishwasher's missing there's a giant bag of dog food and all these other groceries on the counter it's like really oh my god you wonder why this isn't selling here's a picture of a house where this was a dining room so for their family maybe that was cool to get that black paint and paint the wall black so you could write chalkboard drawings on the wall but for marketing purposes, it is not a good thing. 
you want to repaint that wall and neutralize it because otherwise the buyers cannot see themselves living there. Here's another example of a properly staged home. Now with this home, we did not bring in furniture. All this furniture that you see in the room was digitally inserted. Do you think it looks real, Richard? It looks at, I couldn't tell a difference in the world. I mean, whoever does it, whatever your staff uh, member is, absolutely amazing. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they have the technology to make this happen. So you wanna make sure you hire the agent that knows exactly how to create demand. Preparation is so important because you wanna avoid buyers eliminating your home online. My name is Barb Schlinker. I'm the host of Your Real Estate Voice. I'm also the owner and employing broker of Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. Barb has the buyer's team. And next up, we're gonna talk about the absolute secret sauce of how you get the most money when you sell. I think it will surprise you. Richard? You're listening to Your Real Estate Voice. That's Barb Schlinker of Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. She's the host of the program, and you can always, always reach her at 719-301-3900. We're talking about how to get homes sold in a changing market like the one we have right now. Uh, Barb, what are some things a home seller should do to get their home sold? Well, number one is great pictures. If, they, if you have less than a minute to make an impression, that's number one get prepared and get those great pictures ready to go because um, it's so important for the buyers to first fall in love with your home online and then they're actually going to physically go or like just yesterday i talked to somebody that bought a home sight unseen but they had their family go look at it right and so and the family went and saw it and said yes you should make an offer on this right away it looks perfect okay um, professional photography after the staging is done. All We do all kinds of marketing, drone, drone video, whatever it takes to get the buyer to come look at the home because you wanna make sure you hire the team that knows exactly how to avoid repelling buyer searches online. Um, and many home sellers think that we show absolutely everything in the home, that's not true. There are some things that might be attractive that are not commonly shared, but um, like a garage that's really, really pretty that has the finished floor and all that. But the key is to make sure that you get all the stars aligned right, not just with photos, but also with pricing. Now it used to be years ago, you would price a little bit high for negotiating room. Those days are over. If you do not price a home, especially in this changing market, realistically, even on the low side of realistically versus optimistically, you're not gonna get an offer. You may, or you might, you know, it might take a long time, right? You might have to weed through a whole bunch of showings before you actually get a decent offer. But if you price the home right, the chances of it selling faster and for top dollar are much more likely. Here's one that we put under contract on Memorial Day where they he wanted more money, but he priced it right. The similar sales were between 645 and seven, he priced it 649. We had 40 people attend the open house. We had six offers and we played mom against dad and ended up selling that home for 50,000 over asking price in just one week that was doing everything right richard you're listening to your real estate voice that's barb schlinker of your home sold guaranteed realty she's also the host of the program and if you are thinking of making a move call barb at 719-301-3900 or go ahead and just visit the website easy to remember barb has the buyers.com we'll take a short break when we come back we'll be talking about squatters the rules and what you can do about it plus barb's hot new listings you don't want to miss any of that 